Welcome to the Posthumous Poetry Series Part 17. Um, this past week we had the first day of spring, so now we're in this period of March, at least you know on the East Coast, where we get a couple of nice days of, of weather and then winter comes back, you know, and everyone loses their faith in spring. And um, so the poem tonight is actually from that period. So it's an opportune time in which to read it. It appeared last um, year in the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette. They don't talk to me now, but that's okay. And uh, I do want to say that this is a really beautiful poem. And I know there's some snarky mother of a fucker out there who's going to say, if it's a beautiful poem, you don't have to tell us, just read it. But I believe, like Captain Beefar used to say, sometimes you got to hit a man over the head and let him know you're there. And also, this is the kind of poem we all, we all aspire to. And we're so lucky when we get him, and I've been so blessed to have a few, but none of them have been, have been better than this. There are those days in March. There are those days in March when the wind and snow blow back. Daffodils curl, crocuses jerk, and everyone starts calling it winter. Early spring is such Gossamer stuff like two humans being in love. There are those days in March to make us sad, and we can do nothing but wait for April. Being glad we are married to each other. <laughs> 